Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the pilot for your Unreal Engine game project and just by using your own face, your own photo with the correct pilot costume in your character creator 3.4 you'll create it in just one minute and make her or make him become one of the main avatar in your Unreal Engine game project or let him or let her to be any of the NPC in your Unreal Engine game project so start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you need to get the CC3 pilot contents just from here. It can be Revolution Marketplace or Revolution Content Store. As demo, I already get a few. So all of this, you can see I have the CC, the Character Creator 3 accessory. I have some CC cloth for the pilots. I right click view in the large icons and you can see all of these are the materials to create your pilot. Alright, and next, what you need to do is you must have the character creator tree and you get the headshots. By using the headshot, you can generate any of the head and body shape for your own avatar. You can use your own photo. And as there more, so as demo, you have to get your own photo, for example, this is a JPG picture and you are going to drag in into your headshot content, into your headshot, choose the auto, then to drag your photo into headshot, and then this is a male, you choose male, and then no mess, I click generate, and then you have to wait for a while until it finish generate the character before you give any of the costume. Now, after finish generate the avatar, you can see this is your male avatar. It exactly use your photo, the AI is generated for you, you can see. Alright, once you're done already, next you are going to give the costume, give the costume to, to your pilot avatar. So, once you already get the costume from Marketplace or Content Store, you can just drag in. For example, your pilot may need a... Let's have a look first. Right click, view in large icon. I'm going to give, give a cloth, for example, the orange, drag in drag in for your avatar then here you have to click keep cloth shape and click ok and wait for a while until it finish loading now you can see your pilot already have have the dress have the costume next what you're going to do you back to the content folder Let's have a look. This is a vest. You may know it. Oxygen. You may want to give him a helmet. So drag in a helmet. Drag in. The helmet itself is an accessory. Now you can see your pilot already have, have this. And you may want to hide the hair. Just back, go to the hair, the haircut. Alright, once you hide the hair already, you can just delete the, the, hair, the hair if you want. This is the hair. You can press delete to delete it. We may just want to have this helmet. Just double click it, make it bigger, and then you may want to fit to your avatar's head like this. Like this would be better. Alright, now fit already. Also fit the shape. Now this is your pilot. Next, just check again. Check again here. The oxygen bag. You may want to give him an oxygen bag. Just put in. And you can see where this accessory will attach to here. Next is the oxygen container, the oxygen canister, drag in for your avatar. 
Now you can see it automatic already in, in the back here. Next, give him a best. To show it here. The vest is at here. Drag in. Keep the clove shape and wait for a while. Now everything looks perfect already. And next, check again the content folder. The pocket. Let's say if I want to give him a green pocket, then wait for a while. The green pocket is here. And some more. The oxy oxygen bag already have. The large pocket. Let's say here. Just give him a pocket. So here you have another pocket. And then what else? Just have a check. All of the contents that you get completed already, and you may want him to wear a pilot glove. A pilot glove. Click OK to wear the pilot glove. All right, next, the leg of the shoes. You cannot see any of the shoes from your pilot pack from Revolution Content Store or Marketplace. So you may just find a shoes from content. Just go to the costume, the shoes. You just choose a suitable shoes for your pilot. For example, a boot. Just drag in and give your pilot a boot. All right, now, once everything ready, next, you are going to send this pilot to your Unreal Engine to make him become the main avatar of your game project or make him become one of the NPC. So what you need to do is you must have the Icon Unreal Life link. And if you don't know how to install the Icon Unreal Life link, you can just scroll down, go to my video description. I already show you how to download and set up the Icon Unreal Life link in one of my video in this channel. You just need to click into that link and then you can just follow it step by step to install, to download and set up the iClone Unreal Life link for your Unreal Engine and also for your iClone 7. You must have first before you start. Once you already done the setup, from your character creator tree, you have to click here, send this character to iClone. Before that, you better save a backup. So as demo, I will just save it. Click File, Save Project S. I will save on my desktop. I save it here. The pilot, pilot01. This is my CC avatar. I click Save. And now, it automatically saves it as the CC project. Next. Click here, send this character to iClone. And after that, you can close your character creator tree. And what you need to do is wait inside your iClone 7 until it loads into your iClone 7. Alright, now this avatar, this pilot already inside your iClone 7. And next, you have to turn on your, your iClone and real life link plugin. Turn it on here. It will, be, it will appear here, icon and real life link. What you are going to do is check the character name. Now, this name is not suitable. You need to go to the scenes and name, name him properly. Just double click here, name him as pilot01. Right, now you have this pilot01. You back to your icon and real life link. The name already get renamed right there. What you are going to do is Untick the rest, and you only tick the character and only tick the avatar that you want. That is the pilot zero one. And then click the setting. Make sure you untick place assets in scenes and close. Then in your Unreal Engine, you have to make sure you already have the icon Unreal Life link put together. 
and then you are going to transfer it from icon 7 click transfer and then wait for a while until it it finished loading finished loaded into your unreal engine so now what you need to do is just wait for a while until it finished transfer it will automatically appear here now it is still in icon 7 we have a look now it is transferring and then you can see it automatically pop out a uh, UE4 editor cmd.exe. What you need to do is just wait. Wait in your Unreal Engine and please make sure do not perform any action in your Unreal Engine. Just wait until it finish. It will automatically pop out here. So now you just wait. Alright, now you can see after it finish transfer. It will be here, it automatically put into the folder under the contents, Revolution Contents Pilot 01 folder. Now you can see where is the skeleton mesh? The skeleton mesh is here. If you double double click and have a check, this is exactly your pilot. Now this pilot already in your Unreal Engine. You can close this and then next we are going to, to make this pilot to become any of the main avatar in your Unreal Engine. If you play, try to play your Unreal Engine, the main avatar is Mana Queen. So we are going to make this main avatar, main avatar to be the pilot. So I press escape first. At this moment, you already can, can close your icon 7. You can close it. And for this time, I no need to save it. Now just focus in your Unreal Engine. What you need to do is just click the content, go into the mannequin folder. You should be able to see you have a character folder. Go into the mesh. You can see the UE4 mannequin skeleton. Just double click and then click the retarget manager. Select the rig you must choose, select humanoid rig. After that, click save and then close. Next, go, go back to your content folder. Go into the mannequin. Under the animation folder, you should be able to see a third person animation blueprint. Right click it, retarget, duplicate the animation blueprint and retarget. Just click here and then choose your pilot, your pilot 01 skeleton. Then click retarget. Now you can see all of these animations are here. Next, what you are going to do is you can see it automatically retarget inside under the, the content folder. What you need to do is just activate this one to so the nav navigation plane, make sure you, ha you have this. And then enter your, your religion content, your pilot 01 folder inside here. You right click the empty space and create a new folder. Name this new folder as animations. Double click in. Now you can see it automatically show inside your navigations. Then you click the content folder and then you drag here down. Make sure you show and you can see the animation here, pilot 01 animation. What you are going to do is move all of this. You click the first one. Hold the shift and click the last one, then drag into the animation folder. Move it here. Then you go into the animation folder, all are here. And the most important thing is just rename this third person animation blueprint. You right click and just rename. You add an underscore behind pilot01. All right. Once you rename it already, next, go to the contents, go to the third person, sorry, 
go to the third person blueprint, enter the blueprint. You should be able to see a third person character at here. Right click it and duplicate. And then now it's your time to rename it. You put an underscore behind to replace the one. And then you name it as pilot01. Then you press enter. Now you can see this is a third person character, pilot01. You double click in. And then click the mesh, click the viewport, the skeleton mesh. You, you have to choose the pilot01. Choose from here the pilot01. Now you show your pilot01 and next the animation class you have to choose the third person animation blueprint pilot01. You must choose the name properly. And then you click compile and save. Next. Go to the edit, go to the project setting and then Maps and modes. By default, you can see the selected game mode at here. The main avatar is the default point class. You click here, change it to become the third person character pilot 01. Then it automatically will save. You just need to close it. And then this is the default map of your third person game. You must delete the mana queen from the map. You press delete button to delete it. Make, make sure you already have the player start in your map. Once you play, you can see now your main avatar already become the pilot 01. You can see this pilot is exactly the pilot that you just created inside your Unreal, inside your character creator 3, 3.4. Right. You created this avatar and now this avatar already become one of the main avatar in your Unreal Engine game project. You can use it anytime. He can jump, he can run and then next you may want to make him become an NPC. You just need to drag, drag him out and press E to rotate. Once you play, you can see now you have this NPC in your Unreal Engine game project. And now you play as a pilot main avatar and you can see one of the NPC in, in the game is this pilot as well. And that's all for today about how to create a pilot for your Unreal Engine game project. Just by using your photo and just by using all the clothes inside your character creator tree. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.